So, uh, I've been playing a lot since How to Winston, as you can see. Overwatch has kind of consumed my life, truthfully. What little of it there was to begin with, that is. So much so that I would say it's kind of been negatively affecting my content since its release. Well, you know, one of my two videos since its release, I should say. Everyone seemed to really fucking hate this video, but a lot of people seem to actually really enjoy this video, which came as a pleasant surprise, so it's time for more of these. Today we're going to be taking a look at the biggest, most well-known character in the entire game. Someone that's on the box, someone that's been requested by a bunch of you, and someone who is one of my favorite characters in general. That is right, we are of course talking about Time Girl. So to translate transition into the actual video uh but okay let's do this oh my gosh look at her butt look at her butt so the most important thing to note about Tracer, aside from her ass, is the fact that she has the durability of fucking rice paper. One well-placed shot from most characters can kill her immediately, so it's up to you to not be complete shit at the game and use her god-tier movement abilities to avoid taking damage entirely. Blinking all over the place like a complete asshole is the best way to win a 1v1 encounter, and even if you start to lose a 1v1, Blizzard has given you the ability to simply press E, rewind time, and get back to full health, assuming you time your rewind correctly, that is. Going up against a tracer is kind of like playing a Final Fantasy game. You're fighting a super tough boss, right? You barely manage to scrape his health down low, your party's hanging on by just a thread, but then the boss decides to pull a big fuck you, goes into phase two, gets all of his health back, and proceeds to wipe the floor with you. And I must say, it is very nice to not be on the receiving end of that bullshittery. Another good technique is to use your best girl status to your advantage. Just turn on that irresistible British charm, and there is absolutely no way that your enemies will have it in them to attack you. I mean, you would just have to be some sort of a monster to... Assholes! You're really gonna try and hook me, Roadhog? Even though I got my get out of jail free card? Man, you guys really are a bunch of assholes. You know what? You, you know... You're gonna pay me back. You're gonna pay me back with a triple kill real quick. That right there is the only way to get me to forgive you. And for the time being, my friend, you are forgiven. Thank you very much. Okay, dickweeds, you can't be pushing up the payload this far. Your forgiveness has completely worn out. Here you go, Roadhog. Suck on this sticky grenade, you... Oh, yeah, oops, I forgot. Uh, you can't actually kill Roadhog due to the fact that he's a completely overpowered piece of shit. Thank you, Blizzard. Thank you so much. You've done it again. Okay, but for real, though, there's only really one thing the enemy can do to make me forgive them completely, and that's to just, uh, that would just to be to lose the game entirely. Thank you, enemy team! It looks like I got all of you wrong. You were a bunch of good guys after all. Just not good players. Just check out this game right here. This is probably one of the smoothest games I have ever had on Lijang Towers. Or Li Liajang Tower? In China. Like, I'm not even trying to brag here or anything, but I'm just able to carry this team so hard as Tracer. It's just, it's just too easy. Ah, uh, let me tell you, there's nothing I enjoy more than a free win. I was off of the point for literally 10 seconds. I have made a terrible mistake, and I have no one to blame but myself. Okay, this game might not go as smoothly as originally intended, but uh, mark my words, we're gonna run this back. We're gonna run it back for these next two matches, and still be able to secure ourselves a nice and easy victory. God damn it. All right, Temple of Anubis, one of my favorite maps. Let's just go ahead and, uh, oh, ooh, yeah, um, pro tip, if you ever join a game on attack with only 50 seconds left, you're just gonna want to, um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's more like it. So what have we learned? Tracer is a very mobile glass cannon who's good at flanking the enemy and picking off squishy targets. Squishy, of course, pertaining to low health, not May's disgusting fat body. She has a very high skill ceiling, as you must be able to actually aim, all whilst keeping track of your blinks, health, and rewinds, making her one of the most technical characters to play. Due to both her difficulty and the fact that I am shit at video games, I was unable to get any super MLG pro clips to present to all of you, so I hope my masquerading of what some people might call comedy makes up for 
the fact that this educational video actually wasn't all that educational. But then again, if you seriously watch my videos trying to learn as opposed to listening to my horrible jokes and ramblings, you should probably consider deleting your heart from your body. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go jerk off to even more Overwatch SFM porn before the booty blasted SJWs at Blizzard delete it all off of the internet. Time is a ruler to measure the day. It doesn't go backwards, only one way. Watch it go round like a merry-go-round. Going so fast like a merry-go-round.